Timmy's glad Dougie's here. Timmy's feeling pretty lonely. Pam worried about his princess. That zombie charity's mean. And if anything happens to Tabby, Timmy's going to need all the love Doggy can give him. Think that hurts? Wait till you hear the sound of your own neck breaking. Oh! Oh! Ow! Seems like Tabby's in trouble. Oh! Ow! It doesn't matter where we spend the rest of our lives, as long as we're together. Oh, Brian. Hey, it's me. You know the guy you've been looking for? Guy you owe payback? Yeah. Well, you'll never believe who I'm looking at right now on a beach in Bermuda. That's right. Brian O'Leary. Computer generated. It's amazing what they can do these days. So the tapes are fake. Then Ethan didn't kill Julian. Well, no. Well, at least I, I don't think he did. But I'm thrilled that you thought the tape was real. I mean, if his own mother believed the tape, then I did a terrific job. But why? Rebecca, why did you make this tape? Uh, to get rid of Teresa. We can use it to get her out of the mansion forever. And how will sending Ethan to the death chamber accomplish that? Ivy, just listen to me. I have it all worked out. This is exactly what we need to get rid of Teresa once and for all. I still don't understand. Just trust me. The only thing that can stop us now is if somebody sees the tape before we want them to, and that is not going to happen. So now, uh, don't hit me. Here's my plan. Mama, stop. Teresa, I have to make sure that Phyllis came to the library. But you don't have to do this. It's my job. What are you doing? I said that you can stay here until this is all settled. I didn't say that you could hang out in my library watching videos. Oh, well, we were just taking this opportunity to, you know, go through some of our things. Things? Belongings. Our belongings. Well, since we may have to move out, we thought we'd pack a few things. Then you're not so sure Ethan's going to win on the appeal? <laughs> what? Well, if you're starting to pack up your things, you must think that you're going to lose. Well, there's no harm in being prepared, is there? And, Teresa, we are very grateful that you are letting us stay here. Yes, uh, Ivy and I are very appreciative. <laughs> okay. What is going on, all right? Why are you being so nice all of a sudden? What are you up to? Thank you, Brian. For what? Everything. Bringing me here, being so wonderful to me. Helping me to realize that I need to stop focusing on a past that I can't remember. Love that I lost that I can't get back. I know I can be happy without knowing my past. Some people would give anything to forget their past. Spend years trying to put it behind them. You one of those people? Yeah. 
And in some ways, I guess I am. I know that you have a family back in Harmony. Other than that, I really don't know anything about you. Except for what I see now. And that is what is most important. Who you and I are right now. Our past is done, it's gone. We can't change it. And what I want to concentrate on is where you and I are going. We put our past totally behind us. Some people say that the past can come back to haunt you, though. Yeah, well, I used to be afraid of that. I'd never stay in one place too long. I was always looking over my shoulder. Are you still looking over your shoulder? You know, I haven't in a long while. Ever since you've been in my life, how could I look anywhere but in your beautiful eyes? years, I finally found Brian O'Leary. This time, he's not getting away. Don't do your worst, zombie. I'll never betray my Timmy. Say goodbye, Tabby. Tabitha? It's Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. Is everything okay in there? Damn it. I'm coming in. Get rid of that idiot now. Oh, Luis. Is everything okay? Oh, yes, yes. I'm fine. So I heard a noise. I called out. No one answered. And then I heard a scream, and well, I thought something happened to you, so... Oh. Oh, what a dear boy worrying about an old lady like me. But there's no need. No. I just tripped over the... clumsy uh, me. As long as everything's okay. Oh, yes, yes. I'll be fine. As long as you don't leave me alone with that bloody demon. Won't be fine for long, Tabby. As soon as Officer Do writes out of here, you're as good as dead. Well, to what do I owe this unexpected but uh, most welcome visit? Well, I'm working on the Julian Crane murder investigation. I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. I'm not a suspect, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing like that. Actually, Gwen Hotchkiss verified your whereabouts in the Grand Mansion at the time of the murder. Oh, <laughs> good. Well, why don't I make us a nice cup of tea? Actually, I wasn't going to stay that long. I've only got a couple questions. Well, don't rush. I, 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 I mean, I love the company. It gets lonely being an old lady like me. <laughs> now, you just make yourself comfortable, and I'll be back in a jiffy, and then we can talk as long as you like. Longer, even. <laughs> oh, I must find a way to keep Louise here. We can stay as long as possible. <sighs> you can keep him here until the cows come home, but it's not going to matter. You're still going to die. In fact, I can't think of a reason not to just do away with you right now. But do we sit in the next room? Oh, that's just going to make it all the more exciting. Hmm? We got to hit the road, Tim Hogg. A dog. Yeah, he'll be great company on the road. He's so nice. I'll take your word for it, but I'm really allergic to dogs. Sorry, Hog, but the mutt's got to stay. 
Timmy sorry the doggy can't come. Timmy wishes he could, but... We gotta make tracks, cover some blacktop before we stop again. Take care. Timmy will miss his little friend. Let's get this bike cranked up. Saddle up, Hog. I'm really sorry, Doggy can't come. Let's move it. Sorry to interrupt. No, darling, you're not. Okay, well, I was just getting another law book. I'm working on the appeal. Is everything okay here? Just fine, Ethan. Ivy and Rebecca are packing up some of their things. What? Well, just in case, that's all. Well, I don't think that's necessary. I'm pretty confident we're going to get this thing turned around. Sorry, Teresa. Why? No, I, I totally understand you're doing your job. But I'm not planning on losing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone was. It's all right, Phyllis. I'll take care of it. You mean you'll clean? <laughs> no. Why not? It's my job. Used to be, maybe, but not now. No, I'll do it. Yes, this is Mrs. Crane. I would like the cook to prepare supper. No, no, nothing from the old menus. I only want her to use the recipes that I gave her this morning. No, Ivy and Rebecca won't be joining me. There's this pizza delivery place not far away. They can order from there. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Don't worry. Very soon, Teresa is going to be ordering pizzas from death row. Come on, kid. We got a ride. Jump on. Timmy's sorry, Precious. But Timmy's friend needs him. He'll be all alone. And the truth is, Timmy needs him too. Your call, Hog. Hey, maybe I'll see you down the road sometime. Good luck. Thanks again for the ride and the company. Looks like it's just the two of us now. Timmy doesn't know Doggy's name. No tag. Timmy saw a movie once with his princess. There was this dog in it. It was called Wither of Oz. And the dog's name was Toto. You like that? Timmy will name you Toto. Okay, Toto. Timmy and Toto still have a long way to go, but he knows we can do it. A little cut there, a slash there. Yeah. 
if I scream, Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. What, 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 what will he do? Go against me? Well, well, it's not the brightest idea to kill me with, with Louise right in the next room. Or kill me at all, for that matter. Mm. You need me. Oh, wow, well, do I? And why is that? Because I know this town. I know the people in it. And I know who's got skeletons in their closets. So far, all you've done is mess things up for me. But you could be right about offing you with a witness in the next room. Yes, that wouldn't be a good idea at all. <sighs> all right, we'll just get in there and send the cop on his way. do while I'm waiting for the cop to leave. I don't know. I'll take care of the pest, Timmy. This ought to shake up the little twerp. That was fast. Oh, yes, well, I already had the kettle on. Oh, thank Long you. For those questions. Ask away. Right. Uh, well, when I was interrogating Ivy Crane, she mentioned that on the night of Julian's murder, you said someone was going to die. Yes, yes. I read it in the tea leaves. Right. That's what Ivy said. But my question is, thank you, uh, how did you see that? Well, that's not exactly something I can explain, dear. Uh, it's simply what I do. I read tea leaves, I read the future, and sometimes I read the past. I must admit, I'm not really into that sort of thing. Yes, well, some people are, some people aren't. It doesn't really matter, because what I predict always comes true. I read Sheridan's tea leaves, you know. Really? Yes, poor dear. Such a pretty young thing to die so young. Tragic, really. Oh, if only I'd been able to see into the future in her tea leaves. I might have been able to do something. But that was her, her destiny, I suppose. Hmm. So you read Sheridan's tea leaves? Well, if if you didn't see the future, then what did you see? A past life. Thank you. As soon as everyone leaves, I'll fill you in on our plan. But we can't let anyone else see that tape. You better get the damn thing out of the machine. I'm gonna keep it with me just to be safe. What's wrong? Uh, uh, nothing. I, uh, I was just looking for something, and now it's, it's gone. Well, what was it? Uh, uh nothing. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm sure it'll turn up. Phyllis, did, did you just dust the TV and VCR? Yeah, a couple minutes ago. Did you happen to see the tape that was inside the machine? Yes. Well, what did you do with it? Well, I took it out and put it in the box with the others. <gasps> which, which one is mine? Well, it's right here. I'll just take it out and put it. Oh, what? No! You shouldn't. I was just thinking about my memory of the Titanic. Losing your love on the Titanic was very painful for you. Yes. Yeah, but you moved on. You got married to me, according to your memory. We had kids, and we were happy. Now, you can have that kind of future in this lifetime, too, Diana. There's no need for you to worry. I'm here to take care of you. 
future's looking very bright. Mm. I don't know what I was sensing before. It was probably nothing. How many kids did you say we were going to have? We had four. Four? Wow. No, I don't know that we need to have that many this time. But... <laughs> or maybe we'll have more. Sheridan's past. You saw in the tea leaves? Hmm? It's quite remarkable, really. Very romantic, but ultimately tragic. Why do you mean? Well, you and Sheridan were together and very much in love as you were in this lifetime. Go on. <laughs> well, you... you got separated. Separated? By how? By your death. Oh. You see, you and Sheridan were both on the Titanic together. The Titanic? But you didn't survive the disaster. And she lost you. Her great, true love. And it devastated her as you were devastated by her death in this lifetime. Were you able to see what happened to her after I died? Oh, yes. Well, was she okay? I mean, did she ever find happiness with someone? Well, she... She married a man who was also on the ship, and they had a family together. Several lovely children, I believe. I'm glad, you know, glad she was able to find happiness. Yes, yeah, she was quite content. You know, when Sheridan was a little girl, she told me a fortune teller read her fortune. Is that so? Yeah. But she said that she had several past lives, and one of them was on the Titanic. And well, her great love was with her during all of them, but they were always separated. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I believe in any of that sort of stuff, though. But if it is true, then Sheridan and I will be together in the next lifetime. And I will not let her go. I... We'll make sure to hold on to her and our love forever. Would you like me to see if that's going to be possible, Elise? Hmm? No! Uh, what don't you want us to see, Rebecca? What's on the tape? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I, I just... Um, for you to do a little dance for me, uh, and maybe do some of those veils. Your wish is my command. understand why you wouldn't want any of us to see that, Rebecca. The idea of you and, and Julian making home videos. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take these. Yeah, please do. Take that trash out of my house. Oh, don't worry. They're gone. So you had to see that, Mother? Yeah, yes. So am I. I think I'll get back to work. Mm. And as for you two, I want you to finish up in here and, and go back to your rooms. I think we're done here, Mama. 
Uh, Phyllis, you can finish cleaning in here later. Yes, Miss Lopez, it's Joe. Close call. Yes, it was too close. If anyone had seen that videotape of Ethan killing Julian, my son would be on his way to jail right now. The disaster was averted, and our plan is still alive. Your plan, Rebecca, and I don't like it. I will not put Ethan at risk. Look, you don't even know the whole plan yet. When you do, you'll see that Ethan is not at risk. Only the lady of the manor is going to be executed for murdering Julian. You are talking about Teresa. The death house awaits her. How? It's, it's Ethan pulling the trigger, not Teresa. Exactly. What? Okay, okay, I'm not following this. Just think, Ivy. Think. Ethan has to be the smoking gun. It's the only way to get Teresa to confess. Why would Teresa confess? To save Ethan. She'll do anything for the man she loves. Even die for him. Well, I guess that's it. I just wanted to see if you had anything to add to what Ivy Crane had told me. Are you sure you wouldn't like a, another cup of tea? No, another time, maybe. Got to go back to the station house. Uh, but thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Louise. Okay. <laughs> Thanking me for long, chum. <laughs> oh, yes, you and Sheridan will be together again. But there'll be more pain, more heartache than ever before. <laughs> oh, I have to hand it to myself. My spell was truly brilliant. Two brothers and one girl. A perfect recipe for mayhem. <laughs> Not to mention suffering. Oh, dear. Seems there's no avoiding that zombie. I just better deal with her, I suppose. Hmm. Think you're so damn clever, lad? Well, you don't know what clever is. But you're about to find out. All Timmy has to do is find a demon for the last ingredient for the spell that will destroy the evil terror. She's so mean. Timmy's so glad that evil charity doesn't know where Timmy is right now. Carefully, Ivy. The tape of Ethan shooting Julian is a fake. It's computer generated from a surveillance tape taken the, the night that Julian was killed. I get that. But how is that going to make Teresa confess? When I show the tape to Teresa, she's going to think that she is watching Ethan, the man she loved, committing a murder. What if she doesn't believe it? You thought it was real. She'll have no idea it's a fake. But the police will, Rebecca. I mean, the police are never going to see it. Teresa is the only one who's going to see it. And, and she's going to think that she is actually watching Ethan committing a crime. Committing a murder. A murder that he never would have committed if it wasn't for her. She's going to feel responsible and terrified that someone is going to see that tape. And she doesn't want to see Ethan punished or executed. So she is going to confess to the crime of the murder of Julian Crane in order to save Ethan. No, 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 no woman loves a man that much. How much do you love Sam? Okay. So let's see how much Teresa loves her man. Does she love Ethan enough? give up her life for him. 
So now Tabitha is saying you died on the Titanic, too? Yeah, well, that's what she said she saw on the tea leaves. Sheridan and me on the Titanic. That we had many lives together and more to come. I see. I'm sorry. I'm being totally insensitive, aren't I? No, it's okay. No, it's not. Sheridan is gone. In my life. This life is with you. Well, I'm happy to hear it. But I didn't even think you believed in past lives. I didn't used to. But in a strange way, it gave me hope that Sheridan and I will be together in another life. <laughs> wow. You listen to me, huh? I've cracked. <laughs> Listening to a crazy old lady like Tabitha is telling me. Oh, yeah, Sheridan and I were on the Titanic. It's impossible. Maybe. Maybe not. What? Come on. If you and Sheridan were really on the Titanic, I know how to prove it. You and me married in a past life? I can't believe it. Poor kids. Well, now that part I do believe. I love kids and came from a large family myself. We were very happy. You, me, the children. I'm sure we were. Wait a minute. What if our children are still alive? I wonder. They'd be really old right now, but they could definitely still be alive. Wouldn't that be incredible? <laughs> to think that we may have kids out there somewhere. <laughs> but I would love to see them, but how could that be possible? Anything's possible, right? Right, but I mean, I can't remember their names, anything about them. I know. I know how to get it. I know how to find them. How? Come on. Come on, I'll show you. Brian's heading back to the hotel. He's got one gorgeous woman with him. Looks like they're in love. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Use her as leverage. She could come in very handy. I'm just sending a message to the Timster. I'm letting him know that he can run, but he can't hide. <laughs> So. They're your favorite cookies. I had the cook make up a batch for you. Oh, thank you, but, but you didn't have to do that. I wanted to. But why, when I'm here working to take it all away from you? Ethan, we can still be friends. Yeah, yeah, of course we can. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? I mean, if there is, say the word, and it's done. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it, but I'm fine. Okay. Teresa, you're very special, and I mean that. I just want you to be happy. You know, even if I 
when about wrong made mistakes. It's all I've ever wanted. I know. But it doesn't change anything. We still can't be together. I just don't want you getting your hopes up. Don't worry. For you and me to get back together. And I'm going to make sure that happens. No. No, no, no. Teresa is not going to confess to killing Julian. She would be signing her own death warrant. I am going to work it so that she doesn't realize how much trouble she is getting into. We just have to do all the groundwork. Make sure Teresa is prepared mentally and emotionally. Now... By the time I finish with Teresa, she will do anything, anything to protect Ethan. Even confessing to the crime of murdering Julian Crane. And then in no time at all, she will be executed and she will be dead and gone. And we won't have laid a hand on her. <laughs> oh, it is so perfect. Teresa is as good as dead.